The GHC Fellowship has really impacted my journey as a leader uh, and in my career, specifically because it exposed me to leadership development. GHC really, you'd say, is a catalyst and it provides the enabling environment which either or maybe mostly young people would not have those opportunities because they would really need to, to go through the system to get to where they are. The values that GHC believes in, uh, the values of collaboration, strategic thinking, system thinking, you know, teamwork and so on and so forth, as well as inclusion, diversity and equity. So all those things in one package I think is really good for someone who's trying to, uh, to grow uh, as a leader, mainly in the global health space. I would say, no, I am not a leader. I was just this timid person. But having gone through the whole 12 month session, the inner power, the leadership power was strengthened. And when I had graduated from GHC Fellowship, I came out this amplified leader. GHC introduced me to public health, whereby as an adaptable, as a leader, I had to strive and learn and you know, be very curious in a lot of stuff. That helped me after my GHC program to also uh, be able to secure a job with another health organization. Global Health Corps has a very large network of, in, of institutions and individuals that normally I personally would not even have attained, no matter how many years of experience. And there are a lot of programs that are being offered. So every time, like every six months, there are programs and they reach out to us through our emails, phone calls, like there's this project, uh, there's this program. They're always there to develop our capacity. The HC program is a, is, a, is a model that is able to shape and to groom, to grow leaders, not only after 13 months, but even beyond that. Leaders are able to connect, leaders are able to come together from different countries regardless of their agenda and beliefs and be able to coordinate on something that they're able to implement. Totally, I've worked at JHC for six years and this has enabled me to build really strong relationships not only with my fellow fellows in Malawi and around the world but with the staff members around the world. And I know that um, anytime I need any help professionally, I can reach out to anyone. That has really uh, impacted my career journey and specifically it has given me a huge network. We see um, all these collective movements with the alumni giving back to communities, working within communities, building homes. It, it's really a, a, a great thing to witness when young people's power comes together. JHC does a lot of community work in corporate social responsibilities. They work with the alumni who are interested to do any, any project. We have a special um, funds for the, for, for the I think the next vision is, is that we need to empower them now. So, so leaders or young people today are leaders of today, um, whilst the next generation comes into itself. Um, so we need to ensure that these young people not only have the education and the skill sets that they need, um, but they need the opportunities. They need to be on the table. They need to sound their voice to the issue. We need to invest um, in the Sub-Saharan region as well as the Western region and the African region as well. And we need to be at a place where we're independent, being able to you know, do next generation methods in terms of research, in terms of policy, and also how the, our economical structures are, are done and implemented. More, we need more hands on deck and uh, by everyone and funders investing in, into the GHC fellowships. Um, if we can, let's invest in, in those youths that we see that they have the potential. They need a kickstart. They need to be able to understand how leaders are supposed to be. The more we invest in the leadership, even the health community itself, for instance, we have doctors, yes, but we need more leadership also. How best do we, you know, do we address the, the leadership gaps that are there? So let's invest more because the, the benefits, I, I would be sure, they are huge at the end of the day. Young people are the leaders of tomorrow, uh, but then the truth is, young people are not leaders of tomorrow, they are leaders of today. So we need to groom people.